Good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to share a quick message with you this afternoon uh, in preparation for the weekend. Once again, we'll be celebrating Mass this weekend for the parishes of Bishop Eaton and St Mary's Walton. Anybody else who wants to join us? And I'll record it on Saturday afternoon, so it'll be available from Saturday evening through Sunday and whenever you'd like to join us. Um, it strikes me that it is a most extraordinary time, and I'm beginning to find myself uh, wondering, has there ever been a time when you end up almost seeing everybody as a threat? And yet in spite of that, and I haven't been out very much, but I've stuck my head outside the, the gate a few times and seen one or two people, but um, always making sure that we keep our distance these days. And yet, in a way, it creates a new way of greeting people now and thanking them for keeping their distance and so on. So with all these things, we can turn everything to good. And I was just reflecting on a couple of incidents that, um, that have lifted the spirits of the nation. I mean, this Captain Tom Moore, everybody uh, is willing him on now as he's uh, approaching his 100th birthday and, and circling around his garden a hundred times. And Well, the last figure I had at lunchtime today was that he's raised over 12 million pounds, which is quite extraordinary. There was another lovely little incident the other day which um, struck me very forcefully. And that was when Governor Cuomo of New York was doing his press conference and um, I was fascinated because at one point he was very conscious that um, President Trump uh, seemed to be spoiling for a, a fight with some of the governors about how to handle the, the problem. And he mentioned a school he went to, St. Gerard Magellas in, in New York. Uh, and I looked it up and it's there all right in, in the Queens district of New York. And he mentioned that on the board this particular day was a notice reading something like, what would be the point if you called a war and nobody turned up? And as a little boy, he was baffled by this. And one of the priests was coming along the corridor. I can't help wondering, was there a Redemptorist priest there? It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be a Redemptorist parish, but anyway, let's just presume it was a Redemptorist priest. And he turned to him and he said, I don't understand this. What's this all about? And the priest gradually helped him to understand that the meaning of the message was that even if somebody else is spoiling for a fight, it's sometimes braver and more courageous to walk away rather than to take on the fight. Very interesting kind of reflection, and he was insisting that he certainly wasn't looking for a fight with President Trump, but believed that we should all be working together. And that's a great message for all of us. Just nice to know that St. Jerry Magella, our Redemptorist Saint, was mentioned in dispatches. So, Reminding you again, this week is called Low Sunday. I prefer it to call, call it Sunday in White, the old Latin name Dominica in Alba. It was the day when the newly baptised came back in their baptismal robes and celebrated again with the community. It's also sometimes called now Divine Mercy Sunday because of that special devotion. But anyway, we'll focus on the fact that the church celebrates Easter day after day for all the eight days of the octave and we'll celebrate it again in great style this weekend. And just one last bit of information. We have had a, a number of requests for prayer, so could I ask you, first of all, to remember Frank Durker. I mentioned him a couple of times before, but sadly Frank did die at the beginning of the week, and so we commend him to the Lord. Also, Denise King has asked me to pray for her cousin Patricia, who died in Arncliffe Nursing Home also this week. And I met this lovely lady, Brenda Williams, outside the church the other day. She, in fact, she was just standing by the church, um, checking about how her husband, Les, is getting on. He's in hospital at the moment. Um, so we pray for those people and for all the other intentions we've been asked to pray for at this time. I hope you're coping all right and look forward to being with you at the weekend. God bless.